It complicates things tremendously because there's so many possibilities. For example, as an individual, how many cloud-based storage accounts can I have? Five, six, seven different providers. And I could have different types of data stored in each one of those or I could have multiple copies of the same data stored in each one of those. So from an investigative standpoint, where do you go? Where's your data? Where is it stored again? Is it stored in another country that could cause you problems from a jurisdictional standpoint on the legal side? Um, the other part of the problem is, is it uh, encrypted? And if it's encrypted, how can I decrypt that data? How can I access it? How will I even know where it's stored? It's become a lot more complicated now in the old days when everything again was centralized. If you were involved in litigation, uh, you would receive notice and your corporate counsel would put out a litigation hold telling everyone in the organization to preserve the data that could be related to that litigation. The problem now, because it is fragmented, is that you don't know necessarily where all of that data could be. And now when you compound that with BYOD, bring your own device to, uh, technology, where employees are using their own personally owned devices on which this data might be stored, now implementing a litigation hold can become a lot more difficult because we don't know where the data is. Well, in the new challenges, with, with any investigation or discovery, it boils down to timing and expense. How much time can you afford to, to spend to go after this data? What's the volume of the data? Because the volumes of data that, that are being maintained now by every organization is just skyrocketing because it's so easy and it's so cheap to do, particularly if you're using cloud technology. So, how long is it going to take you? How much is it going to cost you to get this data? And then how long will it take to go through the increasing volumes of data to actually identify the data that might be related to your litigation? So it's really complicating it on all three of those fronts. In the old days, we would go out and take a forensic image of the physical media, but because of virtualization, those days are gone particularly in the cloud environment. The accepted methodology to capture uh, a virtual machine would be, is called a snapshot. And it takes a data snapshot of every piece of data on that virtual machine at any given moment in time. How those are validated, uh, you can still use hash algorithms to validate the uh, individual uh, snapshots of virtual machines. But since data on virtual machines changes constantly, then the question becomes, how often do you take the snapshots? Over what period of time? How long do you maintain those? How do you archive those? And how valid is the uh, quality of the archive backup? I think there hasn't been a lot of it come into the courts to this point, and I really think it's going to change how we view what is a best practice for producing evidence. And I think it's now going to come away from the forensic image model to more of a, because of the technology, this is the best it gets, Judge, and here's the process we used, here are the alternatives that we considered, here's why we produced and preserved this data in the way that we did and hope that you can convince the judge through your arguments and through the validity of your process that that data should be admissible. But it is going to change our concept of, uh, of how evidence is going to be produced down the road.